I don't know if you remember this, but like a few months ago I started moving into this apartment and I said I was gonna do an apartment tour and it's been so long that probably nobody cares anymore. Oh my, Kara, what is that? Claire? <laughs> Wait, who got her down from the top of the fridge? No, we can't drag the mattress. Bedroom situation. I have an excuse as I do for everything. So when I first moved in, I didn't initially realize how hard it is to actually decorate an entire apartment up to a standard that I like and it's still not done. The envisionment that I see in my head is just not gonna happen in a timely manner. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Welcome to America's Got Talent. I'm gonna give it all I got. So I have a couch. This is how I like to sit on my couch. I have a coffee table with coffee table things. So I have this coffee table book called A Salaf's Guide to Mindfulness. Perfect. Bye uglies. Okay, this corner is just embarrassing. I ordered like a bean bag to put over here, but it takes a few weeks to come. So I have like this makeshift couch from Shane and Ryan's old couch cushions. And I also still have Christmas decor and like, you don't even want to know what's out there. I think a lot of us can relate to this corner in the sense that it needs a lot of help. A nice little corner mirror. I have this fireplace because it is just brutally cold in Los Angeles. Believe it or not, I have a desk. I count the hours going by. My roommate Jeff still don't know what he is. I have these bar stools. They have white fluff on the top, black fluff on the bottom. The freak fair just really makes me feel like I'm a Kardashian. So you know how when you go to the grocery store you have like a higher expectation of yourself and you're like, oh my God, this is the week. I'm finally gonna start eating healthy and like I'm gonna be a completely different person and then all of your lettuce goes bad, yeah. But I was literally on a whole nother level when I thought that I could eat 10 bananas by myself. <laughs> Okay, this I love this Garrett got for me and it's like the verge article that says Netflix warns against bird box challenge as dangerous trend goes viral I have a nice photo wall oatmeal that I didn't finish dead plant <laughs> except for this one Wow, he's thriving Champagne in the plant which probably explains why it's dead bathroom number one. It has a plant. I'm an environmentalist And that leads me to a sponsor for today's video, which is Dollar Shave Club. And just so you know, Dollar Shave Club is not just for men, it's also for women, and I'm no beauty expert, but I'm telling you that men's products are better anyway. The men's deodorant and the men's razors are like top notch, while the women's ones are like. There is an oral care starter set, a shower starter set, and of course, a shaving starter set. So no matter what your routine is to get ready in the morning, Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. That includes shower products, oral care products, skin products, hair products, and of course, shaving products. That is a lot of alliteration for one woman. Dollar Shave Club automatically keeps you stocked up, but you can choose the delivery frequencies of how often you would like to have products delivered to you. So you can join the club, get one of their starter sets for only $5 by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash Morgan. Over here is this strange tiny closet that I literally avoid at all costs. Alicia Marie merch. All of my boxes that I haven't <laughs> taken down yet. It's fine. So over here I have like these three circular mirrors that everyone else in the world has. Come down the stairs, you're like, oh wow, I look great. Check number two. Oh wow, like something's a little off. And then you're like, oh my god, check number three. Wow, I look hideous. And I I'm actually hoping everyone else because by like check three, I'm like, wow, you really know what you look like. Honestly, I'm probably the only one that uses the three check system because I'm the only one that lives here. So then we march our cute little selves upstairs. My curtains right here are insanely crooked. But we turn around and we have this. So I'm gonna backtrack you to last night so I can show you how this came to be. I've been seeing all the comments of people being like, girl, what happened? So rather than investing my time and my money into something beneficial such as, I don't know, therapy, I just made the executive decision that I would spend an abundance of money at Target instead. Should I have done it? No. Do I regret doing it? Yes. Am I gonna return anything? No. <laughs> I've been in desperate need of a vacuum. So I just bought one. Dyson, if you're watching this, send me a check. Please. Living alone, I don't want to do it anymore because if living alone means you have to spend $300 to clean your floors, I don't want to do it. So future advice, if you're searching for a roommate, you need to put on your Craigslist ad that if you want to live with someone, they better come with a freaking vacuum. My Dyson's charging. My dad would be absolutely flabbergasted that I even knew that this thingamajob existed. 
Okay, first of all, I fucked up. It looks like I'm living in a fish tank. Okay, so there's this wall right here. And in my opinion, it's kind of just a depressing wall. This is removable wallpaper. And I don't know how easy it's gonna be for a first time wallpaperer to try to figure this out, but I'm gonna do my best. Pretty sure that this is just like a giant sticker. I'm also pretty sure you're supposed to have a professional put it on. Simply peel and restick. Okay. I can peel and restick. This was supposed to be peaceful. This is so relaxing. This is so much fun. I am healed. I am inspired. I am Martha Stewart. It's fine. I don't want it that bad. It's literally so fine. <laughs> Good news is I figured out how to do it, but the bad news is I don't have enough. It doesn't even matter at this point that half the wall is not covered. How many Morgans does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, but it only takes one to buy all ugly furniture. Amazing. Feeling very defeated. I honestly don't know why, but I just hate this. Like, it's gonna have to go. I I knew what my vision was, but sometimes our visions just can't become a reality, you know? Bathroom number two. I have this, oh my God, I just found my car key. I've been looking for that. This is my closet. I don't really have much to say about this. Actually, that's not true. Okay, this is my collection of hoodies. Literally, there's nothing I love more in the entire world than a black hoodie, as you may know. And then people have the audacity to accuse me of always wearing the same thing, but look, 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 I don't wear the same thing. I have options. These are all of my pants that don't fit. So originally when I wanted to do this video, the intent of it was to eventually do like a whole closet tour video, which I never did. I mean, I like the closet, don't get me wrong. It just kind of makes me feel sad for some reason. <laughs> and I totally could have repurposed this room to be another bedroom so somebody could move in here and then I wouldn't be so bored. I don't know. In my head, I'm just kind of like, why did I do this? I think I wanted it not because I actually wanted it, but because every other YouTube girl has a closet like this. They're all from Ikea. It's really not that special. I know it looks like much, but it's like Ikea much, so you're like, you know. Yeah, but this is where I get ready. I got this mirror on Amazon and it was supposed to light up, but it came not light upping and it also came with chips on both sides. So love that. Love you, Amazon. Shout out. Sponsor me. Chipped mirrors for everyone. I put all my hair utensils and makeup brushes in like these marble things because I'm aesthetic. I love my room full of regrets. But I also have this little white rug, this little poofy thing. Don't know what that's for. Another mirror, hello. Side note, I literally live in a one temperature zone because the batteries in the heat air conditioner thing ran out and literally all I would have to do is get new batteries, but have I done it yet? No, will I probably do it anytime soon? No, so I've just like learned how to live in one temperature. <laughs> this is my room, it's the same as it was before. This is my bed, it's literally my favorite place in the entire world. I bet you did not see that coming, okay? <laughs> then we have some sunglasses, a little zoom. Wow, I really have a thing for like three mirrors. This plant over here is surprisingly alive and well, honestly. I know people are gonna say that this is wrong, but I put it in the shower sometimes and just let water like soak in. People told me that I was drowning my plant, but this one's alive and the other one's not, so. So I love to lay in my bed and watch TV, but literally the Wi-Fi never works up here. Don't know how, don't know why. It works everywhere else, but here. It's a mood.